Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for all the scorpions out there. Welcome back. Thank you for all the likes, the share, and the support. I'm so, so happy for it. Thank you for the support. This is the energy vibration reading for all um, sun, moves and moon, and rising signs. And this is a general reading for a private reading. Please contact me on my website. I want to say that this is the week, your week, you scorpions. I'm so happy for you guys. It's a wonderful week, actually. There's a lot of stuff stuff coming in there's a lot of ending of stuff in this lot but it's good stuff coming in um the justice is here to support you in this week this is your week it's a wonderful week friday it's going to be your best day and um monday because it's wonderful as i look at the energy vibration of the whole entire thing on monday um the energy is the color is white for the week and it's the ending of a cycle and new beginnings on monday you get an information from an organization or a group of people of a new direction to go in and it's going to be good on um tuesday the energy of love and <laughs> And on Tuesday, you are going to ask somebody to get married to you or you're going to be asked to be married to because the energy vibration. Oh, my God. Yes, it's marriage. OK, for the people who are not getting married or something like that, there is going to be a very good connection with a business partner or so but for the people out there who are in a very good relationship it's either you're going to be asked to be married because um justice is right over you with the ring in the middle and the lovers so congratulations you guys for the rest of the people if you're going to do a business or this i am getting vibration uh, also that um a new relationship you got a key for a house too and you're going to move in together and you're you're going to ask to be married this is wonderful for you scorpion this is just beautiful i'm just seeing this for you guys this is just so wonderful on wednesday you come to an end of something and you you have made a decision you're going to move in a different direction and you break something um off something you break something off okay on wednesday on Thursday, you realize that somebody, people were cheating. People were taking stuff from you. Okay. People were using you. And you realize that on Thursday, on Friday is your day again. When um, either a father figure or somebody like that is going to come in. But this person is bringing you luck. This person is showing you the way. It's like it's opening doors for you. And this is good on Friday. It's a wonderful day. Friday, Monday and tuesday is a wonderful day for you on saturday um you're having um quarrels with your relationship but it's going to be good it, you know sometimes we have this disagreement in our relationship but it's going to be good it's just going to be a quarrel that is going to be over okay i hope because um on tuesday something beautiful just come in but i'm looking at the energy on sunday and judgment come and you're going to decide to make a decision so maybe um it, it you know there's a lot of a lot of energy a lot of a lot of scorpions out there if it has to do with a relationship you ask the person, maybe the person said, yeah, I have to think about it. And then maybe on Saturday, the person said, yes, no, um, I don't know. Maybe this is going too fast. And then on Sunday, you think, you know, something, just let it go. Okay. So that is it for if you are having a relationship. But on the other side, if it's a business situation, you know, you're going to think about it. But it has to do with a, a business. A, 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 um, uh, this has to do with your personal relationship because the house is here. Whenever the house is here, the house has something to do with things that is going on in your house. And here is the lovers. Here is the ring. Here is the, the, the key. So this is saying that it has to do with a relationship you're either going to think if you're going to go to another stage of the relationship by getting married getting a house moving together 
or maybe you ask maybe the, someone asks you and you're thinking about it and you're deciding but in the weekend there is um on saturday there's going to be um rosy um there's going to be quarrels and then on sunday you're going to decide you know something i am not going to go that direction i'm go just going to leave it as it is because it has something to do with a house situation it's like you're asking someone to move in with you or um the purse asks you to move in with you but there's the situation but there's going to be a quarrel in the weekend and then you're going to decide you know let's forget it i want to say to you guys it's going to be wonderful in any direction whatever way you see it says so stay tuned for the general reading general reading for the week number 36 okay the year is going so fast this is second week okay the first energy that i have is from the oracle and she says come to the edge and this is so true because sometime in all of us lives we have come to the edge where situations have brought us so down and people are, are so negative and people try to block you in every situation and sometimes you've just come to the end in um at, a, at, at the point in your life that you think how can i um go further with this sort of energy around me and whenever you reach to that um, point in your life when you have reached that point when you have really come to the edge and you think to here and no further and this is when you really say to yourself i am not letting this happen to me to here and no further i don't accept this energy and you try either to move away from these people or you just ignore them and the best thing to do is to ignore people who are vibrating with a lower energy vibration okay um, uh, coming to the edge, each and every one of us have had it in our lives when we try to get situations balanced in our life when injustice has been done to us. And I can tell you as a person, just walk away from it. Whenever you feel that you have reached the point that you have come to the edge, do not go over. There's a thin line. Do not let people because of their negative energies and how they will deal with you, make you um, go over that line to total madness, total shutdown, total close down. Don't do it. Stand up and said, this is how far you come. And I'm, may, I'm putting a stoppage to it. The next energy that we have is the energy form the the, the um, number 36 energy and it is the energy from the second chakras and when the second chakras come in that second chakras is um all about your base chakra it is the energy vibration of the base chakra and i want to say to you people is that it is time to um, start touching and healing your base chakra. Start touching, healing your base chakra. Make sure you can clear the energies of all the negative things that are going on around you, okay? And by doing that, you will cleanse and clear the energy of your body. As we move on and we're looking at the energy vibration of... Um, the, the another card and it is the river queen and i love the river queen she is um the river queen is here and you know why i love the river queen so much is that she bring you in the flow of life she comes and she says to you let go and when you let go she nurtures you and she helps you along with the movement in your life but she helps you to flow in a higher vibration level and in the beginning, the first card was come to the end. And whenever you've reached that stage, the river queen, she will come in to support you and to guide you up an higher vibration, up a higher positive level in your life and move you away from all these people who have been blocking you and all these energies and these people who have let you come to the end. Okay. As we move on, we're looking at the energies from, um, the um the 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 last card and it says commit commit 
And whenever commitment comes up is that the universe is saying to you, you know, you have gone through a situation that you have come to a point in your life that you feel as if you have been to the edge. But guess what? The universe and the angels is here. Your angels and guides will always support you. And they never, they know exactly what you came to this planet for. And they never let you fall. Okay. And whenever, um, um, the, 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 um, the river queen comes, she is helping you to get the flow, get yourself in the flow of life, find your divine life purpose. And, um, by that doing, then when you commit to that, you will understand because you make a commitment to your divine life purpose. And then the universe is just going to send people in your life to bless you and support you on your journeys forward. I want to say to everyone out there, everyone has a time in their life when they think wow I am at my last Latin <laughs> but you know you just look at it and said you know I am not going to let anyone push me over the ledge and you stand up and you connect with yourself and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being here with this wonderful week and namaste